gonna have a look over the Lotus and all the parts. Have a closer look at all the parts that I got here. First, I'll start off by having a closer look at the shell of the car. Has some damage, some parts. A little chip right there. The bumper doesn't look to be lined up right here. I'm not sure why it's off a little bit. Extra bolt in right there. Yeah, somebody just put a bolt through right there. Definitely has some blue underneath. Not sure if the blue is on top or underneath. I guess it's on the bottom. So it was blue originally, I guess, and then switched to yellow. Some bolt in this side too. Can't see any major damage on anything. It's a frame right here. I'll have a look over that in a second. All the handles, door handles are in there. Pretty good scratch on the side right there. Oh, the back bumper right here is broken a little bit. I think I might have done that myself because when I was loading it, I dropped it right on the back bumper. So yeah, that's cracked right there. Other than that, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Got a lot of the interior parts, like the trim and stuff in here. Not sure if this insulation was from it. There's a piece of a uh, exhaust. Doesn't look like it's from this car. Not sure if that is from it or not. more interior pieces. Just broke that piece. Wasn't supposed to be bent. So that piece is broken. Doesn't look like it's in the best shape anyways. Go around the other side. Look at those interior pieces a bit more. Some sort of trim pieces. There's a lot of pieces in here. I don't even know what they're for. A couple pieces might not be for this car. Because I also got some SVO parts. From the same guy. Some sort of air box. Oops. So I think there's most of the trim in here. Have to organize this better. It's a grill. Not even sure if that's for this or not. 
Looks like it might fit in the front there, so it might be the front grill. Okay, over here I got two shocks. They're really small shocks, so I figured they might be for the Lotus. I'm just gonna put it on here for now. All of this is more Lotus parts. It's all organized pretty good. I'll have a look at this frame first. I don't see any rust on it. There's no signs of any damage that I've noticed. Not really any rust on it at all. Looks like it's in really good shape. Tiny bit of surface rust starting on here. little corner right here was kind of dinged so it looks like it might be starting to rust on the edge but other than that there's absolutely no rust on this thing looks like it's in really good condition looks really straight I don't think the frame would be a problem at all. I think the frame's good to go. Okay, so over here, I have the block. Not sure if there's uh, serial numbers on here I can get. It might tell me something about it if it's the original motor there is a little bit of numbers right here but i can't tell it says t9 right here i think that might say i can't tell what that says a chest mounted camera so it's a little bit awkward trying to film I'm trying to make sure you guys can see properly this thing still spins nice and easy by hand the guy I bought it from said that he would oil it every once in a while come back to it and add some oil he had it inside multiple garbage bags tied tight so I would try to keep the moisture out of it so I'm gonna take it out of the garage right now, put it inside my house, try to keep it in a better environment at least. So I don't see any serial numbers on here, unless it's on the bottom. No, I don't think so. I'm gonna go ahead and bring that inside right as soon as I finish taking this video. Up here I have the rest of the motor the top end of it nice and greasy in here again I don't see any serial numbers on here anywhere Oh wait, there's someone in the back here. So right here it says 26E311WMLMSWP. I'll have to refer back to the video and search that. Try to see if it comes up with anything. This piece is just sitting on top here. This guy took really good care of all this stuff. He said that it was, he took it apart to try to restore it, but he just never got around to doing it, so. Gonna 
bring that inside as well. And the transmission I'll also bring inside. Grease all over my hands now. So a lot of these bins what the hell, actually say right on it what is in it. So this one says Lotus oil pan, headers, air box, and big plug. When I've looked through them, they seem to be pretty accurate to what it says on it. So those are obviously the headers. Those are tiny little headers. <laughs> I've never seen headers set small before. Let's put it up here. There's the big plug he was talking about. Not sure what that's for. There's an air box. Here. My phone ran out of space, stopped recording. So, this is gonna be the oil pan in here. Not gonna bother opening it up. Another box here gearbox, pinion gear, shifter boot, speedo drive, and shifter. I don't know what that's even for. There's a shifter knob. There's lots in here to sort through. Lots of small little bits and pieces. At least it's all nicely organized. So this one says flywheel, clutch, bell housing, starter motor, transmission support, headlights, windshield, a windscreen seal, motor mounts. Nice. So headlights. Never seen them before. That's really cool. Look like they're in pretty good condition. I'm not sure what this is. Sort of interior piece. Leave it in there. I don't want to have to re-wrap it. Not sure what that is. Some brackets of some sort. These are starters. There's three different starters in here. A bunch of different hardware. is a big puzzle 
it's a lot in here to go through it's an extra stator from a, uh, a starter because back then when they actually took starters apart to fix them i don't know if any of these work or if they're parts ones it almost looks like these two are like parts ones maybe that's an original one that one looks older is heavy I was doing that's a piece of the differential something like that and bell housing oh that thing's heavy Headlights. Bin. There's so many to look through. Some sort of stabilizer bars. Ah, I forgot to put this one back in. Okay, so we've got windows here assuming these are for the doors yep okay what do we got here new parts Rods, gaskets, I can't see what the first thing says. So, some sort of brake lines. Gauges. All new springs. Just way too much in here to even sort through. Some badges, lawn, part number. There's screws, some sort of Ford screws. the gauges just want to protect those oil gauge there's just so much stuff in here to sort through I don't know what this is. Lots of new parts in here.
Smiths made in UK. 12 volt. This is an electric motor. pretty small that might be for the lotus these are all supposed to be lotus parts so i'm assuming these are new new parts that he was planning on putting in there how many of these are here two three four Four of those. Sprockets. Looks like a lot of the stuff that you need to rebuild the motor. A pulley. Part numbers on them. See the part number on these ones. just so much to look through here I can't get into too much detail with each piece because the video is going to be way too long it's definitely looking like it's going to be way too big of a project for me to try to take on so I'm going to have to get this stuff organized and probably just try to sell this thing as a project to somebody cylinder head four of them here so it seems like there's a, everything here to rebuild the motor let's try to get this thing closed again this cardboard in there is in the way we're close pistons yeah that looks like that might be okay. a lot of the stuff needed to rebuild it or if not everything needed to rebuild it stuff in there what else we got here 
fan for the radiator. Got two of these. Not sure if it came with two originally or if it's There's two of them here. That's the first one. Here's the second one. So much stuff in here. So there's the trunk lid yeah it's in good condition fits right on there there's the radiator a couple little dents over here not sure if it's still good or I'm sure they could fix it it's not in that bad a condition Looks like it's all copper. Okay, I guess I'll finish at the back here. This is the hood. Not in the best shape, but still solid. No real damage to it. Here we got another bin. This one says pedal assembly, dash stuff, steering stuff, window winders, turn signals, gas sending unit, cables, VRS springs, tail lights. First distributor and computer. There's a distributor. I don't know what that is. It almost looks like a capacitor of some sort. Ignition. Handles. Lucas There's so much stuff in here I don't even know what these pieces are Why oh, there's a big power cable here Is that really in the car? Every single piece of the car is 
packed into these bins. It almost looks like a windshield wiper, but it's tiny. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. Start putting stuff down. Inside there more. This one are the mirrors. Funny little mirror. Another light. This other mirror. A bunch more lights down here. Try to put that plastic bag in between them so the mirror gets protected a little bit at least. Some more. Or these are tail lights, I guess. Full tail light assembly. Seems strange that it would have such a heavy gauge copper wire. But... If we got anything written on here, fuel water pump systems. <clears throat> it's a gas cap. That's a carburetor. I think, oh no, that's just some sort of fuel filter or something, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Even the newspaper is super old. Sleeves, there's two of them in here. More of those sleeves. This Berman 701F P121 Ford. Bottom's almost break, gonna break out. Let's see what it says. I almost forgot. I don't know what that first thing says. K it starts with a K, but then it says offs. I don't know what that one says. Carburetor, fans, wiper, motor. Yeah, the bottom of the bin is breaking. It's gonna fall right through.
Sorry. This goes on the tire somehow. I don't know. There's four of them there. Looks like a old school alternator. Seems to be spinning really smoothly. No resistance on there. Something else in the bag with it. Oh, just a mounting bracket. bottom of that bucket is literally about to break right through. Things half taken apart. That may be the old one. I can get this to the ground without the bottom ripping out of it. Okay, we got the big bin, differential, transmission, drive shaft, steering shaft, and rack, rear suspension, springs, and brakes, and heater box. I think the heater box is already out of those other pieces. Once again, my phone ran out of space. I had to delete some old videos. And my phone is dying, so I'm going to have to make this a little bit quicker. Okay, so in here we got the transmission sitting right on top. the transmission look at that piece the rubber is like aging a little bit for sure looks like there's some cracks in it but look at how good condition this thing is in no rust on it at all Another one. Springs. Same thing, they're in perfect condition. I don't know if they were just repainted recently. That's why they look so good, but there's no pitting on it or anything. It's super good condition. Two of these things. Steering, I guess.
Yeah, this is the this is the rear end. Six R zero zero four Lotus. Spins nice and easy and smooth. Really good condition. It says, on, it says on the bottom there one zero five E four zero two five. B, I think it says. So, I guess I should take this whole bin inside to try to protect it from the temperature fluctuating up and down so much. Carry this stuff in one piece at a time and come back for the bin. Quickly go through these, see what we got in here. Brakes, just says Lotus, Lotus. Got in the brakes. That's a piece of the brake caliper. Assuming this just caliper is taken apart. Ooh, that one's heavy too. Gotta be more brake parts. Little caliper. See anything on it? There seems to be multiple of these. Apartment things. Fluid. Can't see what it says on there. Use only cash draw. Okay, so my phone is going to die anytime now, so it's got two bins to get through. See what's in the last two engine parts headlight pot distributor starter solenoid voltage regulator oh, it looks like there was a new one of these in the other bin that must be the old one Capacitor. Lots of stuff. Oh yeah, this one's super heavy. Don't even want to lift this one. This one's the front suspension. 
There goes all the front suspension. Super good condition. There's the springs. Look at that. Perfect condition. Looks like it was already restored. But uh, this stuff was taken apart in 1982 or 84. He said he took it all apart and it's been sitting there ever since. So when it was taken apart, it wasn't actually that old. It's perfect condition. Some more shocks, Coney shocks. the exact same as that yeah so this might be the the old ones those are new ones that he had ready to put in there yeah those ones look like they might be brand new lots of extras in there extra parts until this thing was repainted Lots in there. That piece down. Try not to scratch this one. It's not been super heavy. But I don't want to have to move that one. But it's the same thing. It might be better off to put it inside away from the temperature fluctuations. And the last piece I think that I got for it here is the dashboard wooden dashboard it's not in the best shape the guy said that he was mainly keeping it so someone would have a template so they could make another one use this as a template okay that's it for today thanks for watching let me know in the comments if you know anything about this stuff that i don't know thanks for watching